G'day folks, welcome to a nice little Sunday update. Uh, it's one of a few videos that I've done in the last week, not many. <laughs> Been fairly busy doing other important things like uh, working on the uh, workshop cleanup, all that sort of stuff. And as you'll be able to see, I've got stuff for secondary sorting. And I've also got a nice clean work area now. I've got the turbojet project, done a little bit on that one recently, like mount the turbo up and the oil supply in the housing, so that's all good. That still needs to be stripped down, that's going to be a fairly decent autopsy. Pumping that thing is huge, it's a lot bigger than I thought, so I'm guessing they just made it as big as possible and just bypass any excess fluid because, well, in theory you could put fittings about that big in place of this with a bigger valve block. So it's actually a decent power unit. I'm not sure whether to keep it in one piece and mount an engine on it or just to uh, part it out and put the pump on another engine, but yeah, not too bad. So, yeah. Had a bit of a clean up as you can see. Some things to sort out and use. A few different engines. And yeah, a turbojet project. <laughs> I like that. I'm just working out the uh, oil return, zero pressure oil return, and it should be right because I've got high pressure in through there. I'm going to put another gauge on here on the discharge side of the pump. I've got a gauge on the outlet side of the oil filter as well to give me a high low pressure on the uh, inlet and outlet side. I've also got a cutout switch just in case things go critical. This will cut out at 90 psi and shut things down. And I'm going to have a 240 volt solenoid valve. I will have to have mains connected up to this thing, but that's not a big deal. I'll have a 240 volt solenoid valve off this switch here, which closes, sorry, it opens at 15 psi and closes at 30. So it will close and allow LPG to flow to the turbine when I have 30 psi of oil pressure. Uh, if oil pressure drops down to 15 psi, which is pretty damn low, like I wish I had one which had a better, I'm uh, oh, sorry, I wish I had a pressure switch which had a better, better range, but if it does drop down, it will close this solenoid valve and shut off fuel before oil pressure reaches zero just in case for a malfunction like a line rupture or something stupid like that just so that I don't starve the turbine I don't know how well this turbine will last it's a very well used turbocharger but you might as well do it properly you know how it is we'll do it properly or not at all so I'm gonna have a couple of safety features built into it including high pressure oil cutout and low pressure oil cutout. High pressure cutout will stop the motor, low pressure cutout will stop the fuel supply to the turbine. So yeah, of course the combustor is going to be out here when I build it. Um, yeah, that's, that's going to be the next big thing. First thing I want to do is stuff a uh, air inlet into the uh, exhaust turbine and just spin it up with oil flow going through it, see how well it fares. Uh, after that, we'll look at building a combustor, and uh, yeah, we'll introduce some fuel oil. Or oh, sorry, not fuel oil, but LPG. Then eventually, fuel oil or uh, Jet A1. So it should be pretty good. Anyway, that's pretty much the uh, update for the moment. There's not much else going on apart from clean up and big clean out. Just I've sort of gotten up to this part and still have more stuff to move out to the carport. After here, yeah, just tear through it in the next week that I get off from work. I've got about three weeks worth of annual leave to burn up, so this is the first week, clear this part up. Second week's going to be this quarter, or third. Third week's going to be that third. And just, yeah, get rid of a lot of useless stuff that it's just of no practical use. Anyway, thanks for watching, and... Uh, Hope you don't mind the lack of videos. We'll catch up with some more equipment autopsies and things down there. And uh, yeah, you'll enjoy that. Thanks for watching. <laughs>